we don't want to be racist or anything by targeting specific nationalities, but it's true that they we've seen a rise in um, some Chinese nationals going here to the country with um, intentions different from what they have presented. Say, for example, they enter here with complete documents. They have their valid visas, meaning they have been vetted already by the Department of Foreign Affairs um, before entering here in the Philippines because they have applied for their entry visa. When they enter here in the country, they have all the complete docu documentation. In a lot of cases, they apply for the um, uh, conversion of their visas to a working visa because we've we've arrested some of uh, foreign nationals who have a working visa. But the intention here is different. As, as we've seen in the recent raids by local law enforcement agencies, they are housed in pseudo companies that uh, pretend to be legitimate online gaming companies but are really involved in criminal activities like prostitution, like kidnapping, um, forced labor, and stuff like that in the guise of a legitimate company. So that's what we're um, focusing on right now. And we're really thankful, actually, Sir Cito, in the past, it's really been just the Bureau of Immigration who has been arresting and investigating all of these um, foreign mm -hmm. syndicates here in the Philippines. But we're really thankful that it has already been, I, I guess, a national effort, mm -hmm. which includes the local law enforcement agencies now, who has been stepping up their game in arresting um, these criminal syndicates here in the Philippines.